Hey, 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've seen you guys. Um, I have had just an FML kind of month and I, I wanted to get back to you so badly. And I just would like look at my table and there it would be. And I couldn't find the time. So this message might be for someone. You can find the time, but it needs to be a priority. And oftentimes we make ourselves the last priority. So here I am. Um, I'm going to read for Sagittarius. I don't know why I'm going to read for Sagittarius first, but, um, I just keep getting Sagittarius in my head and we'll see what Sagittarius, the Sages need to know for, um, let's say the next couple of weeks. So if you're finding this after the time that I've recorded it, it would be a timeless reading um, because that is when you were meant to find it. But if you are finding it as I have loaded it up today, awesome. I appreciate all the support and all of the love from each and every one of you, even though I dropped off the face of the earth for a little while. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, my washer and my dryer broke, just to give you a perspective. So, that being said, uh, if you are Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, or just like Sagittarius, then this is for you. Um... Yeah. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay. We are going to... Let's do some of these first. So we're going to get an idea of what is the overall message that we are talking about today? What is it that Sagittarius really needs to know? Sages, and um, and then we'll do some tarot to support knowing more, knowing even more about what's going on. And this may not resonate with you for you. That's okay. Um, it's a big collective, and I'm obviously channeling not every single person all the time. Um, so please. Take what resonates with you and drop the rest. Let it be someone else needs to hear whatever that is. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some Oracle and then we're going to get into some tarot. Okay, awesome. So I've cleansed the space. I've prayed to spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know for the next couple of weeks? Oh, okay. Judge. This is a lot. Animal. The one. the castle, and the king. Right away with the judge, I'm hearing that something needs to be reconciled. Something was not fair. And you feel as though your hands were tied that you could not get out of this bad situation. 
and it wasn't a decision that you would have necessarily made had you felt confident and strong in your Sag ways. And there's judgment coming that doesn't have to be bad. Um, you can have good Dharma. You can be, um, you can be open to the lessons that have been learned so that you can move forward in your journey. Because if you don't learn the lesson, then you just keep repeating the lesson. But this is telling me that there was a lesson and there is a judge and you are being set free to continue on your path, which is, someone may have blue eyes, that could be um, resonating for someone. The eye is here as well, as is the eye here. So perspective is very important. Perspective about what you saw versus what someone else saw. And it's really important for you to know that you cannot convince other people to think the way that you think or to see what you saw or to agree with you. You just can't. It's not possible. Um, and I, I guess I can't say it's not always possible. It is possible. But when you're talking about someone that has really fired you up, and I don't know why I'm just getting this like animal, like protective instinct um, that someone's like really fired you up because this wasn't how it was supposed to go. And you asked for help and you needed support. And from your eyes, this was very different. And I think it's important that you see that the only eyes that matter in all of this are yours. That it only matters what, what you think of yourself. Because you are this energy. You are this power. And when you come into your power, it's so interesting how if you come into your power where your environment is supporting you via the castle, which you can think is steeped in tradition. And um, there's numbers of people who defend the castle. As long as you are in your true self. And we'll draw an animal card in a minute. Um, just to see more about what animal you may be focused on the, over the next couple of weeks. Because spirit is calling for you to be the king. And the king rules over the entire land, the entire community, his, his or her universe, gender doesn't matter. The king is just um, masculine energy. So much more logic thinking, stalwart, um, Fierce, although queens can be just as fierce. Um, I need to shift that. Okay. Although queens can be just as fierce, uh, it's important for you to wake up, wake up every morning and say that you that you have earned the right to be here. That you are important, however cheesy that sounds. And that whatever you have to offer the world is something that only you can offer from your perspective. And it's time to let go of people misunderstanding you not recognizing who you really are because that was a time that is 
in your past. This is in your future. Take these instincts that you have of who you are and transmute this energy into your being so that you can embrace this power that you find when you have the king. There's such joy here. You know, it's like, um, it's the sun. So I think it's important for you to remember that you are important. Okay. I'm going to put these here. You are important. All right, let's get the spirit animal. I'm just getting the big cards today. Big ones. Okay. Spirit. What do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius? I don't know why I felt I needed to shuffle three times, but I did. So what do you have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. It's this one. Time to let go. And when you let go, what are you? Interesting. 22 may be a number to look out for. 66 may be a number to look out for. Interesting. Okay. So just as we were talking about, it's time to let go of what might have gone to a place that um, wasn't representative of your true self. And the groundhog spirit either holds on to winter or lets it go. And winter is like the dark night of the soul or learning a lesson. You are in these couple of weeks asked to just shed your winter. Shed anything that you feel like, mm, that's not how I wanna be. I'm gonna be different in this situation. And the only way to transform yourself transcend is to believe that you can do this, that you trust in the magic, that as soon as you start moving in the direction that you want to go in any way, I'm hearing this is, this is for some of you, your job, for some of you, relationships, community, in any way, as soon as you feel ready, the story of the dragonfly being that they are um, underwater, I believe, for a significant amount of time and transforming before they become the dragonfly. And right now in the center of your reading, what's being asked of you is to transcend its time, which is such a huge accomplishment. And when you go, wherever you go, with your words, with your thoughts, with your feelings, in a new way, trust that what you're feeling, because it might feel a little uncomfortable, it might feel like a little bit anxious, because this is going to be some part of you that hasn't lived very much, that has been down in the muck. And we're always growing. 
month after month, I could probably talk about some piece of what we're letting go. In this case, you know whatever piece this is that you're letting go. And you know that when you let this darkness go, I don't want to act like this. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to, I, I don't want to anymore. I do want to. And that's where the, the, the doing comes in. And allow yourself to believe whatever it is you want to believe about who it is that you can be. Because only then you can be that person. And you can start today. Right now. You can say, I'm going to do something differently. Because you have that power. You have that power. And Spirit is saying that the castle is, is here for you. There are, I'm hearing a community of people. And it might be a different soul tribe. Or it could be similar people, but they just didn't know this side of you before. Where this is surrounded by pearls in this castle. Pearls take a long time and a lot of um, friction to be made through the oyster. So you too have been in this journey of your life, which all encompassed, it seems to me that you have reached a pinnacle. Spirit's asking you to take the, take the flight now. The raven will guide you. Ask spirit for help. Let me just take a look at these real quick and see if I've missed anything for you because I love this book and We love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive so growth can occur. This is a sign there is something in your present situation that you need to let go of so that something new can be born. When the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye or transition, transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good. So let go of your resistance. And the protection message. Well, it says spirit is already sending it your way. Yes, we just talked about that. Protection message. Have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed its prime or needs to die? A situation, a relationship, a belief or a habit which we were just saying, it could be anything for you, the collective. Only you know what this piece is right now of this puzzle, of this, what, what pearl we're talking about. Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on the familiar. Yes, a specific lens, the eye. So you need to know that your perspective is yours and yours alone. And it's time to accept that others may not have that same perspective. And in doing so, the past becomes the past. Spirit wants you to experience joy and excitement again. Keep your eyes open. Spring and new growth are on their way. That is Spirit's promise to you. That is profound. That's amazing. So you're, you, you are needing to let go. Let's see, 22. I'll hold this up for you. Just as the dragonfly catches your eye with its reflective wings and body, dragonfly spirit appears to tell you to pay attention to the truth beyond the illusion and recognize the insights that come seemingly out of nowhere. Spirit is guiding you.
There's far more wisdom than you can perceive with your senses. Fears dissipate as you realize you are embraced by the nurturing force that is everywhere, always in communication with you. Love exists in many forms and sometimes we overlook it when we don't recognize it in a particular form, perspective, again. So you may have love in your midst right now, I'm hearing. Someone you already know could, for some of you, be your soulmate, be your twin flame if you believe in twin flame. But you have to let this person, situation, relationship go before this can come in. It's just not possible. As Spirit's saying, it, it you can't have both. So do you want to stay in this situation? Or do you want to go to this situation? Everything is free will, free choice. The dragonfly spirit is here to remind you of all the love and support available to you in every moment. Dragonfly spirit can help you see it and trust that spirit has your back. Trust. Trust in the magic. As you pay attention to the magic all around you, you will know you are on the right track. So this is telling me that if you're looking for a sign, whatever that sign may be, maybe you'll see a dragonfly. Um, maybe you'll see whatever sign you want to see, actually. I don't know if you're familiar with asking for a sign, but you can ask for any sign you want. I asked for a blue giraffe one time because I can't remember what I was, I was making a really big decision and my mom has passed over and I asked her, if I'm on the right track, please send me a blue giraffe. And sure enough, I saw a blue giraffe a couple of days later. So you have to be patient. It might not be right away. Um, and spirit's telling me that you need to make a decision about what that, what that sign is so that spirit doesn't get confused because you might be someone who says blue dragonfly no um green car um i don't know a chicken you know you just it's just stick with what you feel immediately when you say what is my sign just stick with it and you can use it often enough and it will be there for you I don't know why I needed to say that, but someone needed to hear that message today. Okay, so ask yourself, what is your sign? Sagittarius, what is your sign? All right, let's do some tarot. These guys keep wanting me to hang out with them. So we will do... A seven card spread. Hopefully we can find out what is in this past. What you're looking forward to. And maybe some more about this castle or this identity of yours. Oh, okay. Yes, four of swords in reverse. It's time for you to wake up. This is a card of rest and recuperation, um, forgiveness. This is, this is about you having forgiven in order to be this dragonfly. You are embodying this reverse four of swords. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The Six of Pentacles. So you are finding that as you look for a sign, I would also look for 
duality, balance. Um, six of Pentacles is reciprocity or give and take. Um, the scales are on his hand. Um, a Libra might be somebody that has a message for you. Sometimes angels and spirits come into our lives to give us a message. And it could be in the form of another person. And they may have no idea why they're saying something that they're saying. But it's important that you pay attention because they're, they're saying it for a reason. Someone needs to hear it. So Six of Pentacles is if you are looking for your sign, um, you also need to stay grounded because that sign might be not out there, but right in front of you. Duality. And you also, for some of you may have um, a sense that your finances are finally becoming something that you control, I'm hearing, or that are stable for you. You might be getting out of a debt. That might have something to do with the letting go. There's a, it could be an emotional debt, could be a financial debt. The chariot, you're moving, you're going. There's decisions to be made and it's going to happen pretty fast. Um, you, you have all the tools that, oh my gosh. All right, I guess this is how we're doing it. You have all the tools that you need. Page of Wands, Death. Let me move these. Knight of Cups in reverse. So... I would be looking for, again, someone with a message for you. Someone helping you on your way. Someone saying, hey, did you ever think of, or do you remember when? Or um, something that piques your interest or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, sparks, sparks your intuition. And you go, you end up going in that direction or like, oh, I should call that person. Death being whatever this message is, is it, is it would be a change from where you have been. It would be a change from the people that you usually hang out with or the job that you usually take. Um, I can draw a card on what this page of wand message is. The Knight of Cups in reverse is saying, just, you know, watch out. Um, there's a, someone who, who would very easily want to entice you. It's, not, it's interesting that it's, next to the death card, someone would want to entice you to not go, to stay, to not heed the message, to not call someone. It could even be like a really good friend of yours who says, you know, what are you crazy? And sometimes when you, someone says that, you should know that you could really be on the right path because what are you crazy? Guess what? Crazy is not bad. Crazy is can be amazing. Because what most people are saying is you're thinking outside the box. You're doing what no one else is doing. You're acting different than you used to act. That's all they're saying. And if one of those things is your goal, then you're on the right track. So keep going. What is this Page of Wands message, Spirit? What is this Page of Wands message about? Mm. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to take this in the upright. 
I'm going to take it in the upright because that's the way I'm holding it. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords. This is about you finishing a cycle. So the Page of Wands is helping you finish this cycle. It's helping you move past heartache, past sadness. It's delivering to you the opportunity for the Four of Swords, which is taking respite from how hard things were. And remember that Spirit has flipped over the Four of Swords saying, okay, we don't have time to rest, but, and because you may have done that already, or we just don't have time to rest because things are in divine timing, Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, and it's time to go. And go is hypothetical. Go meaning be, I should say, whoever that person is. And I'm hearing just be confident in yourself. Who's supporting Sag? Clarify the Emperor in reverse. Mm. Can I have another one, please? Okay. So you're going to have someone in your life. Five of Cups. Yeah. You're feeling... Some part of you is feeling a lot of grief and sadness. This, this groundhog judgment area. And we want to get you over here. And some of you, it's not for all of you. So some of you might find yourself on a different part of this journey. And that's okay too. Um, when I asked who's supporting you, the emperor in reverse is just saying that you have someone in your life who um, might be very opinionated, might be... Um, that father figure or a boss or um, someone close to you who will come, the way I'm hearing it, will kind of come at you with that sense of you're crazy. This, this person is the one who's going to say something along the lines of that's not a good idea or what happened to Sag? What, what, like, that's not, that doesn't seem like something you would do or say. So, in other words, this person is going to push back. So when you have someone that's close to you with that masculine dominating energy, you can be like, oh, Spirit told me this one was coming. Because you also have a king of swords who is very articulate, who brings clarity and logic and um, well thought out plans to whatever it is that you're doing. You are not sure what you're doing. This, this, this tells me that you have a lot of options and you may have a lot of options in love as well. We'll have to see. I'll, I'll draw a card on that. You may have options in love as well. But for now, this is a masculine, can be male or female. Gender doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. Flip it where it needs to go. Um, the Seven of Cups is about all of these choices that you could make. And this King of Swords is going to help you sort these out, get to a better place. So I'm, I'm thinking the message is coming from this King of Swords as well. But it could be coming from someone different. Paige is a young, um, a, a younger thought process, maybe like a dreamer or a, um, 
I guess, kind of a visionary person. Like, did you ever think, you know, with that kind of childlike wonder? Okay, let's see who's coming in love for Sag. Oh, that's weird. I just, interesting. I just shuffled them back upside down. Who's coming in love for Sag? Upside down. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Cups. The Fool. Someone new is coming. Three of Pentacles. Someone maybe that you work with or that you're paired up with. So in love or relationship, there's someone that has also gone through a similar journey to you um, that is also getting over heartbreak. Someone, someone broke their heart and maybe they don't feel like they believe in love as much. They feel like they tried really hard to make something work and it didn't. And when the two of you start something new, a new journey together, the two of you are going to help each other. Three of Pentacles. This is about working together. So... Usually pentacles signify work to me um, or some sort of partnership. I'm sensing that there is love involved just because of how much the five of cups is holding here. But if you work together, this, this presence of the king of wands in reverse um, which is really just signifying that there was like an impossible relationship that you both were trying to salvage and you're ready to move on. Two of Wands, you're ready to think about the future, think about what's next, not be thinking about this anymore. Clarify the Two of Wands, please. Two of Wands, the star, wish fulfillment, healing, joy. You have taken that karmic cycle and ended it and moved on. And this is all happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, at least that's what we've asked Spirit to tell us is the next couple of weeks. So with that, this'll, this'll do it. Um, thank you guys for those of you that hung on with me while I uh, had a little bit of FML in my world. Um, again, I really appreciate you. I sending so much love your way. We all need love and compassion and you are a good person. You, you're important. I know it's kind of cheesy, but you're important. So hit that like button if you could, uh, subscribe if you'd like to know when I'm posting more for you. I'm really hoping that I can do so very soon. I'm going to be working through the other zodiac signs. So with other zodiac signs you have in your chart, check them out. All right. Catch you on the flip side.